An angel of the Lord spoke to Philip. Get up and go south to the road that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza. This is the desert road. So he got up and went. There was an Ethiopian man, a eunuch and high official of Candace, the queen of the Ethiopians, who was in charge of her entire treasury. He had come to worship in Jerusalem and was sitting in his chariot on his way home, reading the prophet Isaiah aloud. The spirit told Philip, go and join that chariot. When Philip ran up to him, he heard the reading of the, heard him reading the prophet Isaiah and said, Do you understand what you are reading? How can I, he said, unless someone guides me? So he invited Philip to come up and sit with him. Now the scripture passage he was reading was this. He was led like a sheep to the slaughter, and as a lamb is silent before his shear, so he does not open his mouth. In his humiliation, justice was denied him. Who will describe his generation? For his life is taken from the earth. The eunuch replied to Philip, I ask you, who is the prophet saying this about himself or another person? So Philip proceeded to tell him the good news about Jesus, beginning from that scripture. As they were traveling down the road, they came to some water. The eunuch said, look, there's water. What would keep me from being baptized? And Philip said, if you believe with all your heart, you may. And he replied, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Amen. Then he ordered the chariot to stop, and both Philip and the eunuch went down into the water, and he baptized him. Before these young ladies come today, let me just say a few things about this passage of Scripture. The first thing I want you to notice is that Philip did not have all the responsibility for sharing Jesus with this eunuch. God was already at work. The eunuch already had the Old Testament scriptures open. He was not Jewish. Those were not his scriptures. But God had worked in his heart and somehow drawn him to the one true God. And he found their scriptures. Also, Philip didn't have to go and find him all by himself. The Holy Spirit drew him and told him where to go. A lot of times I think we don't share our faith because we think the responsibility is all on us. Moses, the truth is, all around us, where you live, where you work, where you go to school, where you play, God's at work in people's lives. Amen. And we need to be praying for Him to show us where the opportunity is for us to join Him That's right. and where He's already working. That's right. If you go and you try to share Jesus with someone with whom the Lord's not already working, they're not going to be receptive. And you might say, well, how can I tell who it is and how can I tell who it isn't? It can't. So just spread the seed everywhere. Yeah. And where God's working, the seed will take root. Yeah. But far too often we're afraid to spread the seed because we don't think that God's working. Folks, He's working. Yeah. All around us He's working. And these two ladies coming today are evidence of the fact yeah. that God is still working. Another thing I've had you notice in this passage is that... The message is very simple. The passage this eunuch was reading from, was the passage from Isaiah that talks about the death of Jesus hundreds of years before it happened. Led like a sheep to be slaughtered. Why did Jesus die? Why was Jesus slaughtered? Because you and I are bad people. You and I are sinners. Now we're used to being called sinners. That's kind of a theological thing, but we don't like to be called bad people. But the Bible tells us that's the only kind there are save Jesus Christ. All of us are bad people. All of us, if God judges us on our merits, are doomed for death in hell. Not because God wants to send anybody to hell. The Bible says God is willing that none would perish, but all would come to repentance. But because God is a holy and righteous God, and God has said that He will judge sin, and if we come before Him in our final day of judgment, and our sin is still on our shoulders, we'll face that judgment. Because though He loves us, He is righteous. But because He loves us, the Bible tells us He made a way. And that way is His Son, Jesus Christ, who never sinned, who did not deserve to die, but died as a substitution for me, and for you, and for Nevaeh, and for Emily. Amen. And they have made the same proclamation this eunuch made that they believe that Jesus is God's Son. Amen. And there's water here, so what would prevent them from Amen. being baptized? Amen. Amen. So they come on down, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. 
Miss Emily. Miss Emily has also come every year to our vacation Bible school, regularly comes with her grandparents, and would be here more often. But she doesn't live nearby, but when she can be at First Baptist Lovejoy, this is where she wants to be. And she said, I want to be baptized here because this is my church. Yes, but more than this being her church, she said, Jesus is my Savior. Jesus is my Lord. Emily, do you believe that Jesus is God's Son? Do you believe that He died for your sins? Do you believe that after three days God raised Him from the dead? Well, then, based on that profession of faith, I baptize you, my sister, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, buried with him in baptism, and raised to 